attack. Tommy, Tyler mentioned like the game was slowing down and he'd come to answer, find answers faster. I guess what's that like as you, for you as an offensive coordinator, but also as a player for him? Yeah, I think it helps uh, call it, knowing that, you know, if a look maybe alters a little bit, he's got the answer. I think it allows you to, you know, let the quarterback go out and play free because there's a lot of trust in what he's seeing and what he's doing. Um, I think it helps him just take the field with a ton of confidence. Uh, I'm excited for him. And then what's Tobias's one been like? Yeah, it's been good. You know, he's uh, got back into a role that, you know, a guy we can count on and understanding where he needs to be and, and how to go execute. And obviously, you know, things were sputtered there a little bit towards the end of the season, but you know, uh, it's something we've been playing for and, you know, we expect to continue to see uh, good things come out. What kind of opportunities does the running game have for South Carolina and how much can they help take some of the pressure off of Yeah, I mean, I think shoot South Carolina, they're good on defense, and especially to the back end of the year, they really started playing well. And, um, you know, they have a good front that um, you know, does enough up front where it causes some challenges. They got good backers, they got some speed. Their secondary players are really good against the run, really against the run. So you got to look it out for us. But anytime you can run the ball, it helps take a little pressure off the quarterback. And uh, obviously, it's something we've leaned on. And, you know, we got to find ways to carve out a run game against a good defense. You see a lot of slants and twists from defensive fronts at the end of the season here. What have you guys learned about that deal to sort of counteract that? Yeah, I mean, we saw it. Uh, you know, probably starting with Syracuse the most, you know, BYU a little bit. And, um, you know, I think schematically we kind of know what we can go operate against it and what's, you know, going to give us a challenge and how we can kind of players.